In this video, I'll show you how to add a custom GPT chatbot to your website, one that can answer questions, recommend products, and even help boost conversions by giving visitors the exact info they need instantly. It's fast, it's easy, and you don't need to write a single line of code. I'll even leave all the code and things you need in the pinned comment below. Let's get started. Step 1. Prepare your knowledge base. Think of it like teaching your assistant everything it needs to know to do its job well. Start by collecting all the pages and documents your customers usually interact with. If you have specific category descriptions, include those too. Don't forget your terms and conditions, privacy policy, and any customer support replies or scripts you've used in the past. Once you've gathered everything, copy all the content into a single text file. If some of your info is in PDFs or Word docs, that's fine too. We'll be uploading those later. This one file will become your GPT's brain. So take a few minutes to get this part right. Step number two, create a custom GPT on OpenAI. Now that your content is ready, let's build your actual assistant. First, go to chat.openai.com slash GPTs. This is only available to GPT Plus members, so make sure you're logged in with a Plus account. Click on Create a GPT. This will launch the GPT Builder, which walks you through the setup process. You'll first be asked to name your GPT. My store is about plants, so I can call it something like Ask Flora or Plant Shop Assistant. Next, write a short description. Something like your personal plant shopping assistant. Ask me anything about our products, care instructions, shipping or return policies. You can also upload a photo or generate an avatar using DALI, which is built into the builder. Then you'll see a section for instructions. This is where you tell your GPT how to behave, what tone to use or what's it allowed to answer. Now let's add a few conversation starters. These show up at the top of the chat window and help people get started. Examples you can use. What plant should I buy for low light rooms? How long does delivery take? Finally, scroll down to the upload file section. This is where you add text, PDF or doc files you created earlier. These files are what your GPT will reference when answering questions. So make sure you upload everything. Once your files are uploaded, you can either choose a model manually or just go with the default recommended one. Click create and that's it. Your custom GPT is live. You will now get a shareable link to your GPT. Open it up and try a few questions to test it out. Ask it something from your shipping policy or a specific product related question. If it answers accurately, you are ready for the next step. Now let's bring this assistant onto your actual website. Step number three, create an API key. Go to platform.openai.com slash API keys. I'll leave the link in the description below and click start building. Give your key a name, for example, plant GPT for website and add a short description if you want. Then hit generate API key. This will create a long string of text. Copy this key and save it somewhere safe like a notes app because you will need it in just a minute. Don't worry if you don't want to pay just yet. You can skip the payment step and add credits later. The key will still work. Step number four, modify PHP to create a proxy file. This part might sound technical, but I'll walk you through it. First, open your WordPress dashboard and install a file manager plugin if you don't already have one. Once installed, go to your file manager and open the root directory of your site. This is usually the folder that contains WP content, WP admin, etc. Now create a new file called gpt-proxy.php. Paste in the PHP code provided by OpenAI or your developer. And don't forget to insert the API key you generated earlier into the right place in that code. Save the file and make sure it's uploaded to the root folder. This PHP file will act as the middleman between your website and your GPT. Step number five, embed the GPT chatbot on your website. Back in WordPress, go to templates, look for theme builder, and click on footer or wherever you want to place your chatbot, it doesn't have to be the footer. Click edit and add an HTML widget to the section. 
Now paste in the embedded code. This includes a little HTML and JavaScript snippet that connects to your gptproxy.php file. Click save and that's it. Your chatbot is now live. Visit your site, scroll to where you added the embed and test it out. Try asking the same questions you tested earlier. If it feels too basic, you can always customize the layout, adjust the avatar or tweak your GPT settings in OpenAI to improve the experience. One last thing, adding a chatbot is great for engagement, but it can also slow down your site if you're not careful. To keep things fast, especially if you're using WordPress, I recommend adding Airlift. It optimizes your site's speed and ensures your GPT loads instantly without affecting user experience or core web vitals. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you are building with your GPT. I'll see you in the next one. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.